What's uh, welcome back for another two minutes tips and tricks video. You probably have done the twist before and you've seen this MIPS which provides a good information whenever a contrast is coming and a contrast is leaving. This is something you need to tick on. However, if you forget to tick this on and the sequence is done, then you don't have the MIPS in the different three planes. But today I'm going to show you how you can recover this whenever the scanning is done. Let's go. All right, we are at 1.5 Tesla. So this works the same on 3T. Just gonna do a demonstration here for you with the coronal twist. Let's go into the Andrew card here. So while we're in here, I'm just gonna show you one more thing, the temporal interpolation. So what happens here is that the temporal resolution you see there is 3.21 seconds. That means that each frame is 3.21 seconds. If you have a temporal interpolation of two, that means that you get a now a virtual temporal resolution of 1.6. This means that the MIP you're gonna have is 1.6, but the raw data is still 3.21, okay? So let's go into the, the MIP. So let's say that if you forget to take on the sagittal and transversal, you only have the coronal. So whenever you do finish the scan, you only get the MIP of the coronal. Like you see there. But no worries, you can save yourself from this because sometimes the rheologists, they want to see the all three planes. What you can do now, so you have an echo icon down there. Hold it down the shift button on your keyboard and uh, left mouse click. You come in here. So locate the sequence you're gonna use, the twist right here. So remember, you can only use the retrospective reconstruction whenever there's not ongoing scanning. So we're going to do a little bit advanced here today. Let's go into expert edit. In here, you have a goggle, so we're faster for the searching part. So let's write the um, MIP. And then you push the next, find next, another one, find next, find next. Okay, there you have it, the MIP. So you see the sagittal, coronal, transversal. Sagittal is false, coronal is true, transversal is false. Sagittal and transversal is false because you didn't take it on, right? You didn't have on the MIP there. So what we're gonna do here now, just close that. Mark the sagittal, edit property, and just write true there. And then okay. Do the same for transversal, true, and then okay. So they're all true now. And then save, close it, and start recon. So it's starting now, and whenever it's finished, you can see here in your browser, this is the first MIP, only coronal, you're missing the transversal and statutal. Let's scroll down here. Let's update. Now suddenly you have them all three, right? R means that they are retrospective reconstruction, so no harm done and you are saved. Well, that's it guys, my time is up. That's it guys, I hope you find this video valuable. I do have a question for you. Do you use these MIPS whenever doing a twist? If so, let me know in the comment section down below. i catch up with you next time. Peace out.